Hey everyone, welcome back. For today's lesson, we're going to be talking about fractions, specifically how to add fractions with like denominators. Now remember, the trick to remembering what denominators are is the name of the family is the denominator. Let me show you how you can do fractions with the fraction box or with something from your house. So let's get started. But first we have to come up with a story. But I'm going to pretend that I have one half of a strawberry pie. It was delivered by my neighbor. She's so nice. Then she gave me a half, one half of a cherry pie, which is also my husband's favorite. Now I'm curious, how much is one half plus one half? I wonder how much pie that will be. Well, let me show you how to do this. If you notice up here, I have my number cards. Now you can make these at your house too. I just used index cards and construction paper. So if you would like to have your own number cards, you could make them too, just like I did. So let me make a number sentence using those. I have one half. Now remember the denominator means that this is the halves family. And I have one piece, one half plus one half. And here comes the fun part. When you add fractions, you slide them together and see if you can make one whole or a circle. Let's see if I can, I can, look at that. So I discovered that one half plus one half gives me two halves. And there's another way I can say this. I can also say that it's one whole pie. So that's my first example. Let's try another one. I'm gonna put my cards back. We can start over. Okay, uh, let's pretend we're gonna do the fifths. And I was very hungry. I had two slices of pizza. I had one fifth and one fifth. And it's the fifths family. That's why I'm calling it that. If you can notice, I'll hold this up to you. You see, it says one fifth. So I have one fifth and two fifths. I have two fifths slices of pizza. Well, I was really hungry that night and I decided to have another fifth of a slice. I had one fifth. Now notice I'm adding these fractions together and they have the same denominator. They're from the same family. And now comes the fun part. I'm gonna slide my pieces of pizza together to see. Oh my goodness, I almost ate a, almost a half a piece of, a half of a pizza. All by myself. I must have been really hungry. Now we're going to count up all of our slices. I have one, two, three fifths. Three fifths. So two fifths plus one fifth equals three fifths all together. That is a lot of pizza. I am noticing though that when I add one part of a fraction from the fifths family and another part from the fifths family, I still am in the fifths family. It's all coming from the fifths family, my, my pieces of pizza. Let's try one more and then I'm gonna let you go and give this a try at your house. Okay. How about we try the fourths family? I have one fourth slice of cake. We've had a lot of birthdays in our class, so that's, that's why I thought of cake. One fourth. It's from the fourths family. Now I'm gonna have just one more piece of cake. I don't normally eat a lot of cake too sugary for me, but this cake is extra tasty. 
one fourth. Once again, it's the fourths family. Now I'm gonna slide my pieces over and try to put them together and count them up. One, two. I have two fourths. I had two fourths pieces of cake. Now, if you're noticing, at least I notice, that this looks like a half of a slice, just like um, we talked about before when I was talking about pies. I can fit this half right on top of my two fourths. So I could also say it's I had two fourths pieces of cake, or I could say I have one half. It's almost the same thing. One fourth is the same as one half. I'm gonna put my cards back. And here's the last thing I'm gonna show you. This is what you could do at your house if you don't have a fraction box, which you probably don't. I'm gonna take this out and show you what I got. I have a, an old cutting board and two balls of Play-Doh. And I'm just going to pretend for today that this is lemon and I am making a pie. I'm gonna smush it. Ugh. This is the best part about Play-Doh is you get to mush it and smush it. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because it is Play-Doh of course and you can't really make things too perfectly round Play-Doh. And I'm gonna have a blueberry pie. Lemon and blueberry, I feel like they go good together. I'm gonna mush this up. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna cover this right up. I have my lemon pie and my blueberry pie. Now, I wanna make sure that my pies have the same amounts because we don't want people to get upset. It's gotta be even. We want them to have the same denominator, the same amounts in each family. So let's take a look. I think I'm gonna do, cut them up. I'm gonna do six. So I'm gonna cut it in half, both of them in half. Now it's not gonna be perfectly even because, well, I am trying my best to picture it in my mind what it would look like. I'm gonna have three on this side, three on this side. Some of them might be a little big, but let me make sure I have six all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. And I got my lemon pie over here. Let's see, one. Yum, yum, yum. If you like sour things, then lemon is the kind of pie you might want. Okay. Now we can play with this. Now remember, this, these are the six family. I have six in the lemon and six in my blueberry. Then let's pretend uh, my daughter wanted two slices of this lemon pie. She had two sixths pieces of pie. And then my son came along. Well, he was really hungry. He wants three. He wanted three slices. One, two, three slices of blueberry pie. Because he loves it that much. One, two, three. Three sixths. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna mix these pies together, ready? I'm gonna slide it over. And when we add things together, we, that means we're putting them together. I'm gonna count up all the slices together. One, two, three, four, five. Five sixths. So if I were to tell you this story, I would say my daughter had two sixths pieces of pie. My son had three sixths pieces of pie and all together they had five sixths pieces of pie. That only leaves me one piece. Hey, that's not fair. I hope you get to try some of this addition of fractions today at your house. Remember, you can make up your own number cards and you can use Play-Doh and make your own little pies and cakes just like I did to practice adding fractions.
Just remember, we always want to have the same denominator. We always want to work with the same family when we are adding fractions. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.